How's it going, Star Wars fans? Welcome to another Star Wars, the Black Series action figure review. This time we've got number 87, Dr. Aphra. Um, this is a character I'm very fond of uh, through reading the comics, and she's become a big fan favorite throughout the comics as well. Um, another great figure. Um, I'm very excited that they've that they've decided to dive in and do some comic figures. I hope this isn't the last one. I'm sure they'll get to some more at some point. Um, they have done these this figure and her, the two uh, droids that I'll be reviewing next in three and three quarter inch form as well. So really nicely done. Um, like I said, number 87. So this is about Dr. Aphra on the back here. It says, on a mission gone wrong, Dr. Aphra finds herself in the hands of the formidable Sith Lord Darth Vader. A rare survivor of such meetings, Aphra is recruited by Vader for her skills in reprogramming joy droids and her apparent lack of remorse for breaking the law to get what she wants. And, uh, yeah, a, a, just a really cool figure. Um, she looks great, really nicely done. It's just, she's a cool character. I re I'm really, I really like Dr. Aphra. So she does come with her pistol. She does fit in her holster as well. And, uh, this sort of hat and goggles is removable as well. And really nicely sculpted, looks great. It's a great option to allow removing of the head, uh, hat. And we didn't get that option in the three and three quarter inch version, but that's fine. But oh, I really like the hat, the goggles, just the weathering and stuff on it looks great. Fits nicely, looks looks natural. One thing I like about Afra is her sort of tattoos down the arm. I think they look cool. Not sure what it represents. Belt, lots of little pouches and bits and pieces on the side. Simple black boots down the bottom there. It's just a just a really solid looking figure. Um, really excited for this one. If you haven't read her comics, I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm not totally up to date with them at the moment, but hopefully that changes very soon. In terms of articulation, Dr. Afra has a ball jointed head. I uh, don't think she's got no, no neck articulation, but she's got the ball jointed head. Ball and shoulders, which I think have a little bit of extra give in there for some reason. I could be wrong about that too. Ball hinge elbows, ball hinge wrists. Um, now this is a cool feature. Now she's got the crunch through the middle of her torso there, so that looks great. And then she's got an ab crunch in the middle as well, which is really well hidden and quite surprising to be honest. Um, not sure we've seen any other black series figures like that. That's a very Marvel thing. Marvel Legends do the ab crunch a lot. So I wonder if this is another thing that they're going to get into with some figures. Um, that'll be interesting. But she also has ball hinged hips, swivel cut thighs, double joints in the knees, which are really well hidden actually, and ball hinged ankles. So full range of movement with this one. And uh, yeah, she looks kick ass. But as always, definitely want to know what you think in the comments below. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Next up, we've got BT1, number 88. So it's a astromech murder bot. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to having a chat about that one. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you.